What's up guys and welcome to my new series called 3 tier FIFA, whether it will be called that in the future I do not know, I'm sure you guys can think of a better name for this series once you have watched the whole thing. If you're looking to buy any FIFA 15 coins go and check out the FIFA shop to get it, okay? the link is down in the description below and you can use the discount code JACK54HD. So guys it is going to be a road to division 1 style series, now the aim of this series is to build the best possible squad from our opponent's team. So every single time you play someone else on FIFA, obviously they have a team and we want to bring them players into our team. So what we're going to be doing before every single match that I play, I'll be saying whether I want to take a defender, midfielder or attacker from their team without even seeing it yet. So I'm going to have to kind of take a chance. For example, I could, could, I could come up against someone with Bale in their team and I could, you know, maybe say, oh, I want a defender because I needed a defender for my team. And then I would have missed out on Bale and he might have had like a whole bronze squad and then just Bale in, in the right midfield spot, which would have been a, a midfielder. So it's going to be kind of chancing my luck with this series as well, which should make it pretty fun. Um, and also... The, the ways that you can't actually get these players. For example, if you wanted to pick up an attacker and say there was a uh, closer in the striker spot and you played that match and then there was obviously, you know, closer scored a couple of goals against you. If he scores against you, if any player scores against you, you cannot take that player. That is the rule. And if a player is out of position, for example, if someone was playing David Luiz at striker, it doesn't, you can't use David Luiz, you'd have to choose someone else. Uh, they have to be in their actual positions and for example if a striker was in a CDM spot they have to be in their actual positions for you to be able to take that player. Obviously centre forward and striker doesn't matter, centre, CDM, centre attack and mid that's fine um, but whether it crosses the boundaries from being an attacker or a defender or a midfielder that's where we can't actually sort it out. Um, I'm also going to be putting some FIFA points on this account so that I can get some coins and so I work obviously because there's no trade offers anymore um, so that is what I'm going to be having to do to get some coins and also the only way that you can gra grab a player is if you win the match if you lose it then you have to take away a player from your squad and remove it and you will no longer be able to use that anymore so we are going to go ahead and get this series started we're going to move straight into an online season match this is going to be our first match on our road to Division 1 and there has been a few similar series like this in the past. Um, I don't believe any that have been really recently. I remember there was one that Mr. Nobots did um, ages ago. I, I believe he's quit YouTube now. Um, but this is actually our squad um, that we had. Basically Mr. Nobots uh, series was called Steel or No Steel, something like that. And it was a really, really cool series actually. Um, so before anyone says I got the idea from that, Parts of the idea probably came from that, um, but I'm trying to, you know, implement it and change it into my own series. So I'm giving him full credit for um, kind of like a part of the concept for this. So I'm not trying to, you know, prove it was my idea or something like that because I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not like that at all. So this is our starter squad, lads. Um, we have got Valdez. We will put Valdez in here uh, and we will put this left back in here. Um, because I want to try and make it obviously the strongest possible squad. I'm not really bothered about any other players being out of position. Um, I will have this guy though on the left wing because he does look like a solid option. And obviously he will get a nice strong link there as well. But the rest of the team looks, you know, fairly okay. Um, and we're now going to move into a match. Come on, let's find ourselves our first opponent. I think the first, the first player that I'm going to be getting, uh, I, I want a defender. Okay, so that can be either a goalkeeper or even um, a right back, centre back, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I also need to change my um, my club name. And I never got the option to do that when I first started this series So and this account. So, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Please let me know in the comment section below if you know how I can change it. Because it really is bugging me. But anyway, this is our first opponent. Okay, we can take a defender from here. Um... Obviously, I have to win the match, but I'm thinking Williamson, is that, Will no, that's Taylor, I believe. Yes, it must be Taylor in that left-back spot. He is actually a centre-back and he is out of position, but he's still a defender. Um, so hopefully, we can win this match and then we'll be able to go on and, and bring that player into our squad to strengthen it. Come on then. Oh, he's turned in really nicely there. And how is that not gone in? That is a joke. Um, I was kind of hesitant to use face cam in this series or not um 
I really do need your guys' opinion with this. Do I? Do you want to see face cam? I'd be able to get much more episodes. What a header that would have been. Oh my god. Put it this way, I'll be able to bring out so many more episodes if I didn't have to use face cam because um, face cam takes up a lot of memory on my computer and it makes rendering ten times longer. Um, so if you guys want to see it, then all be, you know, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just saying I could get many more episodes out without face cam. Come on then. Come on, get that in. Goal, please. There we go. That is our first goal of this series, lads. The first goal. Who even was it? We need to see. We need to start getting to know our players because if I if I don't play very well, um, yeah, <laughs> we might we not we might not be getting many players, which would be interesting. Oh, it's Luke De Jong. That is our gold striker, isn't it? That we um, that we got in our stars. So that was not bad at all. Right. Let's see if we can progress with this and hopefully um, go on and. Go on and get some more players. Go on. Oh, he's stolen the ball off him. He's stolen the ball. Go on. No, De Jong. Is he going to be a poacher again? He might just be. Right, we're going to turn him back in this way. And then turn back out and get the cross in. Go on. Is there anyone there at the back post? He's made a lovely header and a lovely effort, but he hasn't been able to convert it. Go. Oh, beautiful. Coming across him. Go on, he's got to finish that now. And he's gone through the keeper's legs. We are 2 0 up in 24 minutes. Have a look at that, lads. That is what we want to see. Uh, if I get someone to rage quit, maybe there should be a rule for that as well. Let me know if you have any ideas. That'd be class, actually, if you guys could let me know. Nice turn of foot. He actually does have a nice turn of foot, to be fair. Oh, no, don't you dare. What's this going to be then? What's this going to be? A bit of confrontation there. Hold on, I've got a player. I've got a red card. Where's that? No way. No way. How has he been given a red card for that? When we see the replay, that might... No, man. He's gone through the back of him, but seriously, that's ridiculous. The guy's fine. He's got... There's been a bit of a tussle. Maybe it's... Maybe it's because of what happened afterwards. You never know. <laughs> you never know. But anyway, I'm, I'm still gonna... I'm still feeling really confident we can go on and keep this lead because... Um, yeah, we, he never, ever looked like threatening me at all during this match. So, um, it'll be a shame to... Oh, my God. That's awful. That is awful. <laughs> no way. I was just about to say, he's, he hasn't threatened at all during this match. And then, bang, as soon as I get a red card, he scores. Right. Where's the running behind? Here we go. There's the running behind. Go on. Turn. And then, bottom left. Oh, we have got our lead back another two goal comfortable lead that is exactly what we wanted perfect stuff for us um you know what i wasn't expecting to actually go on and score again it felt comfortable that i wouldn't try to be able to concede again but um yeah now we're actually on the front foot proper go on go on here we go go on de jong go on de jong go on make it four make it four thank you very much Look at that celebration. Lovely stuff. 4-1 up in the 73rd minute. I think we're going to be going on to a winner now, lads. I think this is it. This is class. What great stuff this is. This man, that's, that looks like me. God. Right, that is going to be the end of the match, lads. Um, De Jong easily just stole the show against a very, very poor bronze side um, with Williamson at the centre-back spot. And yeah, De Jong got a hat-trick. Saeed. As well, got on the scoreboard. That would have been a lovely header and a lovely goal. De Jong with a 9.5 rating. And it means we can go ahead and pick up Taylor um, because we beat the guy and Taylor didn't score against us. And uh, we chose to bring in a defender from this guy's team, which I'm pretty happy about. There we go. We have bought Steven Taylor, the Newcastle centre-back. And we're going to place him right in our team. Um, I'm going to put him on the right side. Um... But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him in for this guy. Please select another player or a slot. Oh, okay, it's because they're untradeable items. So I have to just put it straight into the club and then we'll change it from there. But um, there is actually, a, my other centre-back is actually really decent. This guy is a French guy, um, French player. And I will probably put him, oh, well, we need to get this guy out of our squad first. But um, yeah, I'm going to put him on, I, I'm going to say on this, on this left side. And then I will swap this. Turkish player. Oh my god, it's so annoying when it just comes up and does that. We're going to put Taylor there on that right centre-back spot. That'll work very nicely indeed. And um, 
yeah, I think our team's looking all right so far. We've only made one change, but we're starting to build a bit more of a stronger stronger lineup with all these goal players. And I, I do like this, this centre-back here. Uh, but our goalkeeper is absolutely dreadful. So that's going to be the end of the first episode, lads. Let me know if there's anything that I can improve um, for this series. And let me know if you want to see more of this as well. It'd be great to hear all your opinions in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And peace.